Hi and welcome to Spooky Hours. My name's David Saunderson and today we're continuing talking to Anton Rossi about tarot reading. How are you, Anton? I'm good, you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Now, last week you, you told us about how you uh, sort of fell into tarot reading when your uh, grandmother gave you a packet of tarot cards. Now, assuming that people have a pack of tarot cards, what's the best way to start learning about reading tarot? Um, I would say that probably starting to learning about the cards and uh, reading for yourself, even if it's just as simple as every day pulling a card on, you know, how is my day been, and even better, doing it at the end of the day to see if there's any correspondence to how your day really were. Um, oftentimes, reading about the past, it gives you an idea on how the cards actually respond to you. So you're, so you're saying, so it's not always just about uh, looking to the future with tarot. You can actually maybe re reconfirm some of the things that you've, you know to be true because it's already happened? Yeah, if you're learning, that is. It, it does help because not the same cards come out for the same person in certain situations, if it makes any sense. Is that something you might do for yourself? Is that something you, you, you yeah. still do? Okay. do? Do you want to maybe show us now an example of that? Okay, uh, well, my day just kind of went out. Uh, <laughs> so if I ask the cards, <clears throat> how my day, okay, it's not over yet, I know that, but yeah. how my day was so far, I can't see, sorry, I'm blind. <clears throat> and uh, I got the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, then what, what does that mean to you today? Well, I... I was meaning to start things, and I did, but then time kind of flew, and, yeah. and life intervened to the point that then, now I am at, <clears throat> oops, the Ten of Wands. Okay, what's that called? The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, yeah. But I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, because it's seven o'clock, I haven't even eaten yet, <laughs> and okay. uh, Basically, I have not achieved all I wanted to do. It, it's it's personal, but you can even ask retrospective question. For example, if you had an interview yesterday, you can say, "How did my interview go yesterday?" And you pull a card, and it, it should really match the outcome. Okay. If it makes any sense. Okay. So That's if you the past. If you want to do it for the future, then of course you'll do it in the morning and you'll pull a card and say, how will my day go is going to be? But if you are learning and you want to see what kind of cards and what comes out for you, and if it's easier, you could do this at the end of the day and say, before bed and say, how was my day? And pull. So, if you, so had you done that, uh, pull those cards earlier in the day when you first got up and you got the ten of what was it the ten of pentacles wands, uh, wands and then you something of pentacles sorry i don't know the names of them if you'd have picked them up would you have read the same that you were going to be overwhelmed today and you weren't going to achieve a lot no i probably you... with the ace is the only one that i would have recognized that you know i needed to get on with things and and throughout the day um but to be honest as we are also on lockdown you know, the ten of ones being overwhelmed. How can it be overwhelmed when I'm sitting at home? But then you can because, you know, time can fly and then calls come in and then work and then this and that. And then I had to go out and pick up a delivery. So um, you don't know, do you? Yeah. So you're saying that, uh, I mean, yeah, it just depends on what you're what you're feeling at the time, really. I think that's what you're trying to say is you, 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 re, you read it. My card today was the Eight of Cups, which is completely different from the two I just pulled. And the Eight of Cups being about leaving leaving things behind, letting go of whatever doesn't serve, which actually makes more sense now at 7 o'clock. Okay. Because it's like prioritizing, letting go of, okay, I can't do this, I'll do it tomorrow and I'll do this instead. Okay, so this is something you suggest for people that are learning tarot to basically maybe at the end of the day, look at, you know, pull a card and interpret that and and look at how it's how that may have mm -hmm. meant how that to the day. Response, yeah. 
Okay. What, what's another tip though? What else would you suggest people do that are trying to uh, learn to read tarot? Um, learn, obviously, learn the meanings, the, the, you know, the standard meanings of the cards and, and, and do readings, you know, pro bono readings for friends or it, it does help because even if you practice in two of you, if you have someone else that's interested, it does help. Yeah. It doesn't have to be, oh my God, I'm doing it wrong, I'm doing it right. There is no right or wrong. There is just, you know, you trying to make an interpretation of it. Okay. You're saying that people should learn the sort of the, the standard, uh, what people recognize the cards to be. How do they learn that? How did you learn that? Because that's one of the questions I asked you last week. I didn't quite understand when you were given the pack by your grandmother. Mm -hmm. How did you know what the meanings of the cards actually meant? Well, that's the thing. At the beginning, I didn't. Okay. When I was 13, at the beginning, I didn't. It only took a couple of years. I mean, at the time, I'm going back to, oh, God, the 80s. So there was no internet like we know now. Um, it, it took a while for me to actually work out what, what it was. So I, I, I literally just worked intuitively with the, with the images. Um how to there are loads of books that can be helpful um available now online and non uh, there are plenty of resources youtube videos i mean now it's it's kind of easy to access resources to try and of, of course some of them are different like yeah. my view is different from someone else but yeah it's not it's difficult now <clears throat> okay so getting a good idea of what the standard ideas behind each of the cards are practice by looking at you know comparing your day to the cards what what is, and, and and you say in doing some uh, readings for your friends what's the what's the difference between doing readings for your friends and say a professional reading i imagine there's a, probably a lot more uh i'm gonna say stress on you when you're doing it for someone that's actually paying you or expecting a a result to a point there is some sort of stress like if you're a dentist then you have to do you know you you, you have to do a job and you have to do it properly um, a friend it can be like very informal, whereas with a, with a client it's formal. Um, I wouldn't say I'm stressed. I'm, I'm very honest. So, for example, if I weren't connected with a particular customer asking for a reading, I would tell them that and say to look for someone else. Um, but no, I mean, it's if you want to do it professionally, then there there's nothing wrong in, in, in doing that. And I, I, I'm a believer that, you know, time is money. Um, I know that there are a lot of movements out there that used to say, you know, you're not spiritual if you start charging and all that. But at the end of the day, we all have to eat, you know, and, and have a roof over our head. Yeah. Another tip, by the way, that just come, popped up into my mind, um, it's um, for beginning making stories. Okay. So, for example, the two cards I pulled before, like you got the Page of Pentacles. Yep. Uh, in this case, it's a lady, I think. Yeah, she is. So you said, oh, you got a little girl that has found some money and now has to carry it all the way up. I can't see. I, I can't you know, see the other. I can't see the other one. What was the other? The what other, was the other one's like um, the ten of wands carrying the wands. Okay. So you could say, there's this little girl, she found some money, and now she has to pack it all up and carry it all up the hill to home. Making stories. Kids kids are great with tarot. And, and how, do, how, does, how does that help you in your uh, having storytelling? What, what does that do for you? Um, makes it better in terms of visualizing and connecting with the cards. Okay. So that's your, your intuition, and you sort of, that's how it, you connect with the card. But it depends what your learning is. I mean, if you want to learn them from a book, you can do that. But, you know, as I said, we, we tried this um, in the London Tower Study Group once, and some of the atten uh, attendees brought their children. And children are great. You know, you just give them the pictures, and they just make stories. They don't care about the tarries. But that connects you more to the, to the cards. You'll remember how you make the story, because it's unique. Yeah. And so that's how you remember what they mean by giving it a little yeah. story and doing that. And that's the kind of thing you would suggest to new people when they're doing the tarot reading. How long did it take you to get to the point where you felt confident that what you were doing was good 
Or have you ever been able to get to that point? Mm, I suppose feedback, years. It took years. But it was feedback, feedback, and getting the confidence to go and, and go out there and charge. Because, you know, it's okay if a friend or even a friend or even a stranger tells you, oh, that's great. And it's another thing thinking, shit, I've charged a nominal amount of money and now she's going to want the money back. Uh, it's never happened. So, no. <laughs> I was just talking to a friend saying I was about to interview you and she had a tarot reading years ago and she said it all it all was absolutely perfect up to her 30th birthday so she was told her future to her 30th birthday and she won't do it now because she's scared she said it was too accurate I don't want to know anymore do you have people like that that sort of get scared of the, the tarot because they fear it's too accurate and it tells them too much that they might not want to know it can happen, but then again, you know, if you don't want to know, you wouldn't want to go for a reading, would you? Yeah, well, that's what she did. She went for a reading, and she was happy with the reading because she said it was very, very accurate. But she's thinking now, it was too accurate. She, she, yeah, she, she doesn't. Too, she doesn't need to know the future. Sorry, maybe. Didn't mean to swear. And... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Have that beep. Yeah, but that's all right. So, what, what, what? Uh, have you had people like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it does happen, and and it's happened to me as well, where. You know, like there's, there's there's an inside joke between me and my friends where sometimes you ask a question and the cards, you like you don't like them and you go, oh, you know, it's not it's not the right time, put them back. Yeah. <laughs> and so it can happen, and and it it is accurate, but again, if you don't, you know, like with many things, if you don't want to know the answer, don't ask the question. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh... Yeah, no, that's a, but that was just—I just thought that was interesting. That was just a story that uh, just before I came on. I mean, I, 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 if you want, I can make an example um, quickly, which is a few years ago I spoke at the uh, Tar of, London Tarot Festival, and then the following year uh, my my life situation changed, making a long story short, and I decided I treated myself and pay for a reading. I usually don't, but. You know, why not? And I had this lovely, lovely lady, Helen was her name, and um, and she said, look, I'm really sorry, but you're a reader. You can see the cards. They completely has nothing to do with what you asked me. And I said, yeah, and I was a bit upset, but I said, well, tell me what you feel. And, and she did, and uh, my outcome was death, the death card. I was like, mm. But in the end, it was so accurate, it down to the timing. I would never have known what it was about then, because I was in a completely different place. But it was completely accurate. And, and, I, and I saw her again the following year, and I told her, and she was really pleased. Um, you know, I wasn't, because it all went to, you know, but... So it does happen, but if you don't want to know, Tarot likes to talk, my friend used to say. So it's a bit like a friend that likes to, to chat and gossip. So if you don't want to know, don't ask. Yeah. So we've, today we've talked about some of the uh, some of your advice for uh, new tarot readers. You suggest that they do a reading for themselves at the end of the day, pick a couple of cards and, and, and compare that to what, the, the, what their yeah. day's been like. Uh, learn obviously what the standard messages are behind yeah, all, all the cards and uh i think what was the last one you said what was the you gave us one more yeah the ten of wands ten of wands and what was what, what no but sorry, sorry <laughs> what did but... uh, what did uh you, you, we had two tips there oh what the was story the, what was telling a story oh, to, and the telling yeah and telling the story so we've got three things there that would would help people and if they if, if they did that that would put them on the on the right road to learning Good tarot so. And also, of course, there are lots of resources online as well. There are books, there are uh, blogs, the you know YouTube videos. So there's plenty out there now. Yeah. And what do you do now? You don't have the London uh, the London Tarot Group running anymore. Especially, you can't do it now because you're in lockdown. Well, you wouldn't be able to now. But uh, no, I, I stopped it a couple of years ago. Um, I work from home and doing online tarot readings from home, and. Obviously, at the moment, non face to face, but um, yeah, but there's plenty of obviously around the world, there's different tarot groups and stuff like that, and as you say, blogs and uh, yeah, uh and meetup well, groups, they, lots of opportunities for people to learn more. So, yeah, it's not the same as it was for me in 1980, 
three or, you know. Yeah, when you're a little girl. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. All right, well, well, thank you for that. That I, I think that's really interesting. And I think uh, it'd be interesting to find out maybe what the what some of the the messages are. So maybe the next time we, we chat, you can maybe bring us through some of the individual cards and what they are, what they mean, because I think, I think that would be interesting. Yeah, we can talk about the suits or, or just an introduction in general, no problem at all. Okay, all right, well, thank you for that, Anton. Thank you for that, and we'll talk to you next time. You take You're care. You're welcome. Bye, David. Take care. Bye.